Hey guys, all right. Well, in this video, I just want to give you an update on the ATC project. Uh, in the last video, you saw me in doing the uh, assembly of the ATC, and I didn't quite finish it up, but I've got it finished up now. All that's left to do really is do the wiring. Now, I can you can see I've got my solenoid mounted here, my D sub box here. Let's see if I can get this cover off. There you go. So what I've got in here is just a, a DB9 D sub connector here, and I've got all my uh, switches mounted to it and my solenoid so this will run over to my control cabinet and I'm just using an 8 pin aviation plug here to connect that I've got my power and my motor signal wires here so that we can rotate it this kind of just tidies it up got my cable chain connected here and of course the cover on here but works really well as you can see and I'm really happy with that so what I wanted to talk about in today's video is uh, some of the components we're going to be using for wiring so uh, let me clear this off get set up and we'll talk about that all right so now for the electronics there's going to be quite quite a bit of upgrades to the original control box I had hoped to do this with minimal uh, changes however I just feel like I'm gonna to have to add a, a secondary breakout board in order to pick up the extra inputs that I need. I need two inputs for extended and retract for the carousel. I need an input for low air pressure and I need an input for the C-axis home sensor. So I need three inputs and one to two outputs. I need one to actuate the solenoid and a secondary one for air blast should I uh, determine I'm going to need that. So I don't overload the current C11GS. I decided to reach out at Arturo at CNC for PC um, to kind of see what my options were. Fortunately for me, uh, he's came out with a brand new integrated breakout board for the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. Now, the e changing over to an Ethernet Smooth Stepper uh, has its advantages. You can use a more modern PC uh, because it's Ethernet connected. And I tried to shy away from that in the past because I just didn't... Uh, I wasn't real sure about that Ethernet connection. Uh, Mach 3 wasn't really originally designed for that. It was designed for the parallel port. And over the years, it's worked really well. However, for this, when I reached out to Arturo, he recommended this uh, C25XP. Now, this is a prototype board uh, he sent me, and he's actually in production of a revised uh, board, which will have all the ports and pins labeled. It's going to have a nice cover on here, and it'll have little LEDs that will shine up to let you know when these uh, pins are activated. Uh, he's going to rearrange the spindle over to the side here. There's a little bit of uh, configuration changes, but I think overall the connections will be the same. They're just going to be in a couple of different locations. Uh, it's a pretty nice board, so under here is the Ethernet Smooth Stepper, and it just snaps directly on. And you do have uh, a third expansion port here, and this board uses ports 1 and ports 2. So I have plenty of inputs here. Uh, inputs on port 1 here, 
inputs on port 2 and then I have enough outputs for six axis as well as uh, these over here which are also port 2 are uh, three different relays here for our spindle on and off forward reverse now one thing that's nice about this board is it's 10 to 30 bolts so uh, you just supply 10 to 30 volts and if you need 5 volts you have a 5 volt power source here and a 10 to 30 volt power source here so you can use um, sensors 24 volt sensors it will accept 24 volt inputs 5 volt inputs um, so it's pretty universal now we'll get into this a little bit further on Arturo said that the new board should be out soon and he's going to send me one so if I get that board before I start doing the wiring which most likely will happen because I've got um, some parts I need to run and I don't want to break down the machine until I get until I'm sure that I've got a a good amount of time to do the wiring and do it correctly uh, that's the problem with having just one machine uh, you're very hesitant to tear it down to do any kind of uh, repairs or wiring that kind of thing so also we're going to be using a, uh, a relay bank here you can pick these up at CNC for PC as well um, I'm not sure where this one came from it may have came for from Arturo but uh, I'm, it's really old so I'm sure it's changed if it did come from him and uh, I'm really going to be using probably two or three of these but it's good to have extras in case uh, the relay goes bad you can just switch over to a, a, a different one my buddy Wyatt laser cut this panel for me so this is going to replace the current panel that I have you can see here we've got our mini Molex connectors for our axes now. Uh, the clear pass servos have uh, the mini Molex ends. So these are just panel mount. They've got these locks in here so uh, they'll just go in there like so. And then we've got one for the power. Did a real good job of uh, did a real good job of um, laser cutting these out. As you can see how those lock in, and then all I have to do now is just clamp the motors on there. So that'll be really nice. Also, as I showed you earlier on the ATC, we're going to have our eight pin connector here, and this will go over to our uh, DB nine sub board that mounts on the back of the ATC and this is where I'll pick up my uh, sensor signals and also the power draw bar signal. So stay tuned guys for this video. Um, in the meantime I'm going to be doing an upgrade on the G0602. I'm going to install those closed loop steppers that I talked about earlier in the last video and uh, also going to be working on the linear rail conversion. I'm going to finally be getting that saddle machined. So stay tuned for that video. And then hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll start doing the wiring on the panel. But I've got to get those parts finished first. Alright guys, well I guess that wraps up this video. Uh, stay tuned, in a couple of weeks we'll be doing the wiring after I get these uh, parts machined. I'm machining some lift plates for the 100 millimeter power draw bar kits so we'll have those available soon. Guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down here below that way when I post a new video they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out. As always guys please feel free to ask questions make suggestions and leave comments Thumbs up if you like the video. Stop by CNC4 PC and check out the new C25XP uh, integrated board for the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, 
pizza.